Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a budget video for June 2017. If you guys have never watched my channel before, I do decorative planning. I just like the way it looks and it keeps my mind on task for the entire month. If you're not into decorative budgets and planning, this may not be the video for you, but I'd just like to give a little disclaimer. As always, let's take a peek at last month, see how the month panned out. Uh, the month is not over yet. Today is Thursday the 25th. I currently have a very, very bad cold, so I'm super stuffed up, so sorry about my voice. It's just the way it's gonna be. As you can see, yesterday I spent f almost $40 at Walgreens on cold medicine. So yeah, I've been really sick um, ever since last Tuesday, so nothing I can do about it. The month panned out pretty well. There was a couple of unexpected expenses. The first one was here on the first. It's called Equity Solutions. Um, I had to hire a appraisal company to do an appraise on the home that I'm going to be purchasing on June 1. So that was $525, so I actually took that completely out of my budget because I had the extra money versus putting it in my savings account, so that was fine. Um, I did have a hair appointment which I had budgeted out $200 for and it only cost me with tip $131 so that was actually great. Um, my dog was kind of expensive. He actually got a bath and I needed some new supplies for him like food and I needed some medicine for him too so that got a little bit expensive but it wasn't too bad. The only other random thing that happened was um, Lowe's. I had to pay them $64 for doing a estimate for my home so I actually already just got the estimate the other day. I haven't hired them yet but I'm gonna hire them after I close on the home on the first they're gonna be doing some flooring um, in my first my first floor flooring I guess so anyway this is how the we are how the not the week how the month is so far let's get into June I like to have these up for you guys before the month actually starts because I don't know I just feel like you know you kind of get motivated and stuff before the month actually starts get to get going um, oh and if you're interested in any of these stickers on here this is called the Emily's budget bundle from Coffee Break Planner. I will put a link down below as well as a discount code if you'd like to buy anything else at Coffee Break Planner. It's for 20% off your entire purchase. They are matte removable stickers, so like even this no spend, even though I put it on a long time ago, like I can remove it off the page really nicely. So um, I really like that. Also, um, Catherine from Coffee Break Planner just came out with these and I figured I'd test them out and they're just these long strips for, it just says bill due and then paid with all all these little flags. So I thought this was really cute and I am going to put this in my June one over here and I think these are kind of like a universal fit. I don't think they're supposed to fit perfectly in this planner but that can fit pretty much um, any sidebar and if you ever have questions like she has like she literally has like all the planners so um, she can either custom fit it or if you have a specific planner and you're wondering if it fits you can um, you know send her a message on Etsy so yeah there is some negative space but I guess I'd rather have negative space than you know not enough space so these are a new addition to her shop this is not in the Emily's budget bundle this is just a strip you can get and it's a uh, every page has three so yeah if you buy a few sheets then you're good for the entire year. So I thought that was a cool idea. Um, the thing I need to factor in this month is my dog has to go to the vet because June is the time where he goes to the vet. Um, I'm gonna be using these. This is from Erin Condren. Um, all of the monthly spreads that I've really ever done I've always used these Erin Condren stickers. I like them. I think they're fun. Way to kind of jazz it up a little bit too so why not? And I just kind of put it on the top here. Just try to line it up as best as possible. And, oh, no overhang. Okay, that's good, cool. Um, everyone asks me what I do with this page. I don't do anything, so I go like this. Ta-da, that's what I do with that page. Um, last month I couldn't find this sheet, so <laughs> my May, I guess, is just gonna hang out there and stay, but <laughs> June, here you go. All right, so here is my June budget. And this month is actually gonna be kind of exciting for you guys if you've been watching my channel for a little while. Like I said, in June, I am actually purchasing a home, so I'm very excited about that. But you know what that means? I'm gonna have normal bills. Ta-da! Um, I don't know if I'm actually paying these bills in June or if it's gonna be in July. I don't know if I need to like work that out with the whole, like the original homeowner. I don't know how that's gonna work, but you know, sometimes when you like hook up utilities, you have to put like money down or they take like a prorated payment. 
I don't know how that's gonna all work out, but I'm gonna budget in to what was originally in the disclosures of you know average monthly bills. So that's what I'm gonna put down for June. Once really August hits, because July is gonna be a funny month too, but once August hits, then I think I'm gonna have a better understanding of like exactly like to the dollar amount, like what to estimate for. Um, some of them are gonna be set expenses and others are gonna fluctuate with the amount of usage with like utilities and things like that. So anyway, let me zoom you guys in and then we'll get to this a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna have a lot more like lines this month. So I think I'm gonna do my incoming on this side and then all my outgoing on here just to give me a little bit more space to work with. All right, and June is one of those months where I get paid five times because I get paid every Friday, which is probably gonna be kind of nice because I'm buying a new house. All right, so then my total will be $3,287.70. Um, these are, kind of estimates, but they're just like, if I work 40 hours a week, that's what I'm getting paid. Um, sometimes I work less, sometimes I work more, just kind of depends. Um, most of the time I work more than that, not always. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let me put on all of my expenses. Since I'm closing on the house on June 1, I actually don't have a mortgage payment due until August 1st um, because I'm pre-paying pre all of my interest for June and July is what I understand in the documents that I actually just signed today. So, um, yeah, I'm still gonna set money aside, not in June, but in July for a mortgage payment and then like double pay in August, if that makes sense. So um, I'm still gonna set that money aside in July, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those funny things. So I'm gonna just go with what I know for now. And you know, these couple months in the summer are gonna be a little bit of a trial and error until I, you know, figure out expenses for that home. I mean, I'm sure if you guys have a house or you move into a new home, regardless if you had a home before, sometimes the utilities and things like that, they kind of fluctuate and it takes a couple of months to kind of like get it regulated and figure out, you know, how much it is in your area. And sometimes it fluctuates from like town to town and all that jazz. I know I have to pay my HOA, which is gonna be 158. I have insurance and this is not homeowner's insurance. This is just regular old insurance is uh, 104.17, so that includes, that's my um, auto policy and my renter policy here. I'm not moving out of here until all of the um, contract work is done on the home. So that's probably gonna be like mid month or the end of the month in June until that actually happens. So I will have a couple policies that'll lapse a little, not lapse, but they'll like kind of overshadow each other. I don't know, I'm gonna have like double coverage kind of for a little while, but that, I mean, it makes more sense to do it that way. And then once I'm completely moved out of here, then I'm gonna get rid of my renter's policy and then it'll be just auto but I do actually pay my homeowner's insurance at the same time I pay my mortgage. So it sits in escrow is what my understanding is of it. So I'll get all those final documents on the first. So it's just, there's, there's a whole lot of moving parts to this whole situation. So another fixed expense that I know is my cell phone is 101.55 and then my Netflix 10.68. All right, and the Wi-Fi is $45.29. I'm currently paying for the Wi-Fi here, but I have to get that switched over to my parents when they get back here, and then I have to set up Wi-Fi in my new home. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the same company because I've been pretty happy with their Wi-Fi speeds and everything. So um, I think I'm just gonna go with the same company for that, but I don't know if they've ever serviced that home. So if they haven't serviced the home, they have to like wire in for it, which isn't the biggest deal in the world, but there may be like a little bit of a setup fee. I don't really know, I can't remember. I think that will actually end up working out just fine, but I might actually double pay Wi-Fi, so I might just pay it for June here and then pay it for June in the new place as well. Well, we'll figure that out. All right, so let's go into some of the expenses that I don't know if they're gonna be true or not. So here's kind of what I was told. Electric is estimated at about $70 a month. The gas bill is estimated at about 75 a month. The garbage is actually very specific at $17.85 a month. 
So I don't know if garbage is actually paid every three months or if it's paid every other month or every single month. I don't know. Again, I'll find that out. Um, and then let's see, the water sewer is $56 a month. And so that's like, these are the funny ones. So I think what they did with the gas and electric is they went for like 12 months and then averaged it out. So one might be higher, the other one might be lower. You know, they kind of like, you know, even each other out in the end. So on the bat, like not the bottom, but let's kind of skip a line and then we'll go into, well, let's skip a couple of lines. Um, I'll go into some of the cash items and then I'll go into some of the more other miscellaneous expenses. All right, so grocery, I'm gonna give myself 250 just cause there's five weeks. So usually at averages out to about $50 a week. And then dining, I did 150. Um, and my brother's gonna be in town at the very end of the year, or not end of the year, the end of the month as well. So um, I figured we'll probably be going out to dinner as well. These are the only two items I have in my cash category. Let me skip a couple more lines and then I'll put in some of the other stuff that is kind of estimates. Um, so gas for my vehicle is usually around the $200 mark. My dog needs a vet visit, so um, I need to actually find a vet. I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna guesstimate about $200 for his vet visit. Sometimes they're less, it just depends on if he's like due for shots or anything. And then personal and household, um, usually I put that around the $100 mark. And this is for like laundry supplies, medicine, like personal stuff, like shampoo and conditioner and toothpaste and things like that. But I will be purchasing some things for the home. Um, I need to find two rugs, some bar stools and a kitchen table and chairs. Those are like the only main things I'm missing. And I'd like to do it out of this particular budget. I do have some money in savings, which is how I'm paying for all of the home renovations, which is why you don't see them on here. Um, because I have squirreled away quite a bit of money to do that kind of stuff and I'm paying all cash for it So none of it's you know going on a credit card or anything I do have enough money in there to pay for some of those items like the bar stools and the rugs and stuff But if I can kind of squeak it out of this budget, I would love to do that if possible so um, hopefully I can be really diligent with my spending this month and be able to do that so i think i'm actually going to do like a whole like financial friday video about you know trying to find things at a good deal and really shopping around um you know you can get like the same type of a look for a very limited price um you know it might not be the best quality in the world but if you're not super hard on your things and you take care of them i don't see why you can't you know, spend $100 less on a chair than spending $100 more on a chair to get almost the same look. So I'm excited to show you guys that stuff when that happens. It'll probably be in the month of June or July when those videos will actually go up because it's gonna take me a while to like edit and all of that. Plus I'm moving and it's like this whole long thing. So really, um, I'm not gonna be putting any more money into my savings account as of right now. What I'm gonna do with the excess is that's gonna be essentially my budget for any items I want for the home. So so let's get this guy totaled up and we'll see where we're at. All right, so I got them totaled up. So let's total up all of the categories. All right, so I'm looking for like a total outgoing right now with my cash and kind of my estimates of, you know, gas and Doyle and then like personal household of $1,538.54, but I'm bringing in $3,200. So let's see what the difference is and then see kind of how much money I have to play with for buying some of those items that I am looking for in the month of June. All right, so I'm looking at a total of $1,700 for, you know, any of my kind of miscellaneous expenses that I would like to spend um, for the month. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to spend all of it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, like I said before, let me actually zoom you guys out a little bit. Um, like I said before, I may or may not buy anything in June. Um, I'm hoping I can get everything, you know, done in June that I would like to get done, especially with finding some of those pieces. Um, I have been looking online at some of the discount places just to see what they have. Also going on like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. Um, I did a whole vlog about Facebook Marketplace and I'll link that down below for you guys. But yeah, this is my June budget. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back to as many of you as I can. 
All the links for all of the places that I mentioned or used will be linked down below for you guys as well. So if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe. I have new videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.